nung lumabas si Realme 9 Pro Plus, sobrang na-excite tayo kasi napakaganda nga naman ng phone na yun. We had OIS, really good cameras, good performance, 5G, we also had Super AMOLED display and very fast charging. Pero isa pa sa mga dahilan kung bakit na-excite tayo kasi alam natin na kasunod nito ay eh, lalabas na rin yung Realme numbered series. Pero hindi nangyari to na unang lumabas yung Realme 9i and because of that, meron na certain expectations sa Realme 9. It has to be at least better than the Realme 9i and definitely it has to be better than the Realme 8. Dumating na nga si Realme 9, diba? And to be honest, I'm not sure what to feel about this phone. But before we go into detail, reviewin muna natin yung kanyang specs. Display, 6.4 inch, Super AMOLED, Full HD, HDR10, punch hole, notch at the top left corner. It runs at a native refresh rate of 90Hz, tapos meron siyang Gorilla Glass 5. Yung kanyang typical brightness nasa 430 nits. Peak brightness, 1000 nits. Yung likod naman niya, as you can see, medyo satin yung finish, which we really like. At nag -iba, iba yung kulay niya, medyo pearl scent. Ang tawag sa colorway na to is Stargaze White. We have a triple camera setup on this phone. Yung main camera niya is a 108 megapixel wide angle shooter. Tapos meron siya 8 megapixel ultra wide camera na may 120 degree field of view as well as a 2 megapixel macro lens. Sa harap naman, yung kanyang 16 megapixel front facing selfie camera. And kung makapansin nyo, meron din siyang under display fingerprint sensor. The phone has dedicated dual SIM slots as well as a dedicated micro SDXC slot for your expansion card. Meron din tayong 3.5mm audio jack as well as a USB Type-C port, single bottom firing speakers. The phone runs on the Snapdragon 684G platform and this review unit that we are using has 8GB of RAM and 120GB of storage. Although keep in mind that the retail unit is gonna have 6GB of RAM and 120GB of storage. It also has 5000 mAh of battery which charges at 30 watts so that's 75 minutes to 100% and 30 minutes to 50%. It runs on the Android 12 platform out of the box with Realme's very own Realme UI 3.0. So taken by itself, it's still a very good phone. Pero medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng expectations, lalo na kung magagaling ka sa isa sa mga previous generation phones. Eto, gawin natin. Labas natin ha. So I have in my hands a bunch of Realme numbered series phones. May slight differentiation pagdating dun sa design ng kanyang rear camera module. Pag nakatagilid, medyo magkakamukha na sila, di ba? Sa taas, looks almost the same, pati sa ilalim, halos magkakapareho. Kung may kita nyo, halos pare-parehas na yung itsura niya sa front. Same notch style sa top left corner, and similar yung kanyang style, similar display size makapal yung chin sa ilalim. So, ano nga ba itong mga phones na pinakita ko sa inyo just now? This is the Realme 9 Pro Plus. This is the Realme 9. This is the Realme 8. And this is actually the Realme 6. Malaki ba yung pinagkaiba mula nung lumabas yung Realme 6 up to the time na lumabas yung Realme 9? And keep in mind, that there are two generations in between these two phones but design-wise, halos hindi nagbago. Nung unang lumabas si Realme 6, napakaganda niya, napaka-disruptive niya kasi sobrang ganda ng value na pinakita ni Realme 6. Pero medyo na-stuck na tayo pagdating sa design. It hasn't changed much in the last three generations, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pare-parehas yung korte, pare-parehas yung style, pare-parehas yung design. And siguro it's time for us to see much more exciting style from the Realme number series. We're hoping to see that in the Realme 9 pero I guess hindi pa ito yung panahon na yun. Pero in terms of aesthetics, we can say that the Realme 9 is probably our favorite so far. And that's probably because they've had three generations to improve on the Realme number series. Pero ayun nga, kung titignan mo siya sa harap, halos hindi na siya nag-iiba. 
same pa rin yung style ng kanyang display, notch dun sa top left. Medyo makapal na chin. And speaking of displays, yung panel na may kita sa Realme 9 is essentially the same panel that we've seen on the Realme 8. It both runs on Super AMOLED display panel with under display fingerprint scanner, 1000 nits peak brightness, HDR10 support. Pagdating naman sa performance, medyo confusing din kasi the Realme 9 runs on the Snapdragon 684G platform which is the same chipset that is found on the Realme 9i. And kung benchmark naman yung pag-uusapan and for those of you who are into gaming, mas mabilis or mas maganda yung performance ng Realme 8 which runs on the MediaTek Helio G95. So saan nakakalamang si Realme 9? Siguro sa software kasi it already runs under 12 out of the box with Realme UI 3.0 and we gotta say Realme UI is fast becoming one of our favorite user experiences sa Android. Napakalinis niyang tignan, very snappy, ang ganda ng mga additional features niya. And ramdam mo talaga na namamaximize mo yung power ng phone pag uh, gamit mo ay Realme UI 3.0. Lamang din siguro siya pagdating sa camera because of that 1 megapixel main sensor. And kung megapixel lang naman yung batayan eh, siguro naman you can produce better images than a phone with only 64 megapixels. Pero hindi lang naman megapixel size yung batayan. No? You also have to consider the sensor size, OIS, as well as the actual camera hardware itself. And that is why, pagdating sa photography, mas maganda pa rin yung quality ng photos and images as well as videos na makuha mo sa Realme 9 Pro Plus. Although, mas maliit yung megapixel nito. And speaking of the Realme 9 Pro Plus, isa sa mga unang hinanap ko dun sa Realme 9 nung nakuha ko ito is that street mode photography. And that's because one of the things that we really enjoyed doing on the 9 Pro Plus was the light painting mode. Ito ba yung kumbaga bulb mode na nakikita nyo sa DSLR wherein you can drag the shutter so that you can capture light streaks. Halimbawa, pagka may dumadaan na sa sakyan, di ba? Na-capture yun pag dinadrag yung shutter. Unfortunately, hindi ko siya nakita dito sa Realme 9. Although meron siyang street mode, parang wala na siyang pinagkaiba dun sa regular na filters. Parang mas enhanced yung image stabilization pag naka street mode ka. Pero yun nga, the reason kung bakit gustong gusto natin street mode sa Realme 9 Pro Plus is because of that light painting option. Which is wala dito sa Realme 9. So that leaves us with battery life. And I must say, very impressive ang battery life dito sa Realme 9. Nung tinest natin siya, we were able to get 18 hours and 9 minutes using the benchmark software. Without the benchmark software, tumatagal ito ng at least 2 days. Napakahirap i-drain ng battery dito sa Realme 9. Unless ito todo mo yung brightness, tapos na mobile data ka, tapos nag-games ka, hindi mo siya madedrain ng ganun kadali. Pero ang problema dito sa battery life, eh, malayo na yung narating ng mga phones. And because of fast charging, hindi na siya ganun ka-important or ka-critical of a factor for us to base our purchase decisions on. So that leaves us with the question na ano nga ba talagang meron sa Realme 9 that would make it a better choice as opposed to, say, getting the Realme 9i the Realme 8, or even the Realme 9 Pro Plus. Right now, it looks like it really is all about the 28 megapixel main camera as well as the battery life. Pero kung titignan mo, hindi ganong kalaki yung difference. So, mapapaisip ka talaga if you would be willing to spend that additional amount to get the Realme 9, or you're gonna spend more to get the Realme 9 Pro or the Realme 9 Pro Plus which has 5G and better cameras. To me, parang dapat yung Realme 9 Pro, which has 5G, dapat siya yung Realme 9. And the Realme 9 Pro Plus should have been the Realme 9 Pro. Does that make sense? Is it something that you agree or disagree with? If you disagree, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Pero sabihin nyo naman sa comment section kung bakit kayo nagdi-disagree. And if you also agree or if you have any additional insight that you would like to share na hindi namin nasabi sa video na to, 
please feel free to share that. We really love to hear your thoughts and your comments. Because kami, this is something that we do on a regular basis, and there might be things that we miss or na hindi namin nawapansin. And kailangan namin yung tulong nyo na ma-realize ito mga bagay na to. So once again, this has been Kuya Den saying thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Paalam!